Whew, all right, well, story time. Part of me doesn't even want to tell you what happened because it's really funny. But in a nutshell, I had a little bit of an accident. I'm okay, as you can see, I'm home now. Yes, I have some cuts on my hand and stuff, and I have a bigger cut on my head. But basically what happened was, if anybody's not familiar with a Murphy bed, I was trying to take this Murphy bed off the wall and I unscrewed all the L brackets from the top, but it was actually still stuck onto the wall because there was an outlet and a switch that had cutouts in the Murphy bed that allowed you to still access the switch and the outlet. Long story short, I opened up the bed, tried to get some leverage, finally got it to come loose, and when it finally did decide to disengage from the wall, because there's springs built into it, it snapped down on my head and on my hand and arm like a mouse trap. That's the best way to explain it. So I do apologize if anybody saw this photo and was scared because I have the neck brace on and I'm in an ambulance. The reason why the neck brace was because my head took the blunt force of that hit and my neck was stiff at the back and they just wanted to make sure that if anything was broken or if there was any issues, they wanted to ensure that my neck wasn't gonna move a lot. All I'm left with is a nice couple cuts on my hand, a swollen thumb, a nice bruised forearm here, and a really big cut on my head, which basically about that long it's pretty thick. I know a lot of you guys watch my channel because you can learn from my mistakes. So in this particular mistake, just don't try to take off a Murphy bed from the wall if it's open. Make sure that it's still screwed in if it's open and if it's not screwed into the wall, close it. And if you can't get it off the wall, let the professionals do it. So with that being said, guys, I'm okay. I am gonna miss one game, which was actually tonight but that's okay, I wanna get better. I wanna get back on the ice for next week, which the doctor said I should be okay to get back on the ice. No concussion, which is good, I didn't lose consciousness. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoy this game. I'm okay and thank you again. I can't I can't express how much I appreciate all of you guys reaching out and saying that you're, I'm in your prayers and that you're wishing me a speedy recovery. I should be back next weekend. So anyways guys, enjoy the game. I'll see you on the ice. Hi right, guys, welcome to another game here. I think this might be our second last game of the season and I don't think they're playoffs this team. We haven't beat yet, but we came close last time. So hopefully we get the W this time. Let me see it, let me see it. Oh. All right, so in that goal there, I, I thought I had it in my arms. So I was just trying to keep it, but I guess I moved and it popped out, uh, giving it an open net. So if that happens to you and you don't know where the puck is, the best thing to do is just go down and try to cover the bottom of the net. Because if I did that, then he wouldn't have been able just to put that puck in so easily. So A, make sure you have the rebound, and B, if you don't, cover the bottom of the net. So that goal there, similar, having the rebound, making sure you're controlling it and you're covering up the bottom of the net. Uh, pretty much the same idea. I should have just made sure I covered uh, the five hole. I think that's where it went in. Uh, not a good way to start the game. I gotta help my team out now. All right, so on that goal there, I mean, good pass over to the guy who's wide open, put it in glove side. I mean, did my best to get over, seal the bottom, and he just beat me over the glove. So one thing I'm gonna to try to do for these rebounds that I'm letting out is I'm gonna to try to tell myself when a player's about to shoot, like where do I want this puck to go? And I'm gonna to try to tell myself, like okay, I want it to go into the corner, I wanna catch it. This way here when it happens, when I get the shot, my body will subconsciously like do what I'm thinking I should do. The one thing that's crazy about no penalties and only penalty shots is that we're three penalties away from tying it up. All right, so on a goal like that, when you have 100% eyesight on the puck, it's just a matter of being properly squared. Um, I don't think I was 100% square. It was a good shot, top corner, but if I was more square to the puck, I could have easily just leaned into it. 
but I definitely had to reach for that one, which means that I wasn't square to the puck. Just keep playing, have fun. Finally! Alright, so some of you guys are kind of uh, mad that I don't have my stick tape. And it's kind of funny, like, I think I want to do a video deciding whether or not there is a difference between tape and no tape. So far I haven't really noticed anything, but I don't really play the puck too much. Some people might think it's going to break the stick easier. So far it seems it's holding up pretty good. We'll see. Back go in. Yeah! Alright, so on that goal there, I'm just not squared. I think I was too deep in my net. I think I wasn't, like, because I wasn't square, I uh, had the whole left side open. He was able to bank it off the post and in. When you're playing a good team, they could pick the corners. You gotta make sure that you're square and you're not too deep in your net or else they have a whole net to shoot at. Man on! So on that goal there, all, most of these goals are rebound control issues. Something I know I need to work on. It's just hard to work on rebounds when all you're doing is playing games. So I'm gonna try to get some, uh, some more training, maybe with Steve or another goalie coach, because I think these rebounds are what killing me. Yes, it was a hard save I had to make, but I should still be able to control that rebound and either cover it or put it into the corner or out of the way. Nice work, good work, good work. Let's 
go, boys. Nice try. We tried. I know. All right, well, that wasn't the game we wanted it to be. We lost 9-4. to four. I could have definitely stopped a lot of more of those shots, but I don't know. Sometimes games just don't click for you. That's okay. You got to bounce back quick, come back strong next week, and uh, do your best to stop more pucks next time. So if you guys learned a lot from this video, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. I'll see you guys next week.